Hello and welcome to the Who University of Law. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing Doctor Who The Seventh Doctor Adventures Sullivan and Cross AWOL. This landed on the doormat last Friday. It came out on Wednesday. I listened to it, or was it Tuesday? I listened to it on the day anyway and yeah it was Tuesday and that's it because I remember texting a friend and saying you need to get your ears um, onto this. It's a wonderful set. Um, I liked both stories. I thought the Dalek one was really fun. Um, it kind of it was a nice little historical story. Um, looked at Halloween through the years. It it was yeah, and it it added a bit to the lore of the Daleks because it talks about their very first time experiments. Obviously, we know at that point in time in the sort of fifth, sixth, seventh Doctor's eras, they're using time corridors. That's kind of what they're using in Eve of the Daleks as well. Um, but this is the first one they're trying to create actual time craft. It's a time craft experiment, which is obviously looking forward to the time war. So it's kind of a sort of prelude to war story almost. So that was quite fun, marrying those kind of bits of lore together um, in that sort of progression of the history of the Daleks. So I, I love that kind of stuff. It, it was a fun story that just so happened to fill in that gap in the development that we haven't seen before. So really wonderful to see that. But my highlight of the box set was the very first story, which I was more looking forward to the Dalek one, and that the first story blew me away. First of all, Christopher Naylor, um, every time I hear him, he gets better and better as, as Harry. He just was Harry Sullivan in this box set. It was wonderful. Diamond Cross was just a wonderful character from the start anyway. When I listened to her in the unit uh, box set, she kind of just jumps off the page. Um, she's a character who has such confidence in the part that you kind of, although we haven't seen her initial travels with the Doctor yet, you just believe it. You just believe that she's always been on the scene with the fourth Doctor. Um, but what I loved about the first story was, first of all, it was a, it was very much a Harry Sullivan story. We've never had a story quite like that before, but it was Harry's story, unashamedly, and it was wonderful. But also, it was had such a sort of fantasy feel to it. It's the kind of story that only Doctor Who could do. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want you to enjoy it, but... Lots of twists, lots of turns, worlds within worlds, um, very much a London story, but London very much as you know, and at the same time it was so familiar yet so unfamiliar, um, and again, just in a way that only Doctor Who could do, so yeah, a lovely box set, it was my, it's, it was my most anticipated box set of this month, and it hasn't disappointed at all, I think we haven't had much Seventh Doctor content recently, because of things like lockdown, and this was just wonderful just to, you know, you realise what you're missing. I think between this and Power of the Doctor, just lovely just to have Sylvester back. So let's get it open. Let's see if I can, because I famously find these tricky. That worked, actually, at the angle. That, that, that's, a, that's a little tip there at the angle. Okay, so we've got, obviously, a uh, cover art on the front. We've got a nice little orange. Here we go. We've got Sullivan and Cross there. Uh, we've got a nice orange background with our stories and our writers and it's exactly the same on the jewel case I love it when they do different colours I think when they do collector's editions it's just nice it's just it's a little touch it's just nice to have these different just to have like a instead of a black or a white just have a different colour it, it, it seems so small but it just does make a difference if you're a collector to have that so a little bit you know uh, novel about the physical product so there we have it you have a reversible cover with uh, the seven doctors logo on a disc one of london orbital got a little booklet cast and crew credits on the back as well and then if i turn it over we've got london orbital disc two and screw the daleks by Lisa McMullen with a nice little advert there for the most recent box set, Silver and Ice. Both fun box sets. I did prefer this one, but both fun box sets. So there we have it. Doctor Who, Sullivan and Cross. Have you heard it yet? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I look forward to speaking to you soon.